This is my 1951 170D with the OM636 diesel engine. This is a little four-cylinder diesel which was produced early on, uh, late 40s, early 1950s, and it was built for many years and it found its way into many different types of applications. Mercedes used it in their 170D and their 180D. And it can be recognized, first off, it's a flathead engine, meaning uh, you see I have the valve cover off here and it doesn't have an overhead camshaft. It has a flat head with push rods and rocker arms and valves similar to many older engines of that period. There are a couple other unique things about this engine, but number one, and this is the reason I think people like this engine so much, it's a real gas miser. My 180D, which I'll show you in a little bit, gets almost 40 miles to the gallon. So this reliable old four-cylinder diesel has found its way into sailboats all over the world. It's in, it's in farm equipment throughout Europe. It's even been used in, in semi-truck refrigeration units. So this engine is still being used in a lot of applications other than old Mercedes diesels. And for years, people have always been trying to improve the performance of the old OM636 four-banger. I've already made an improvement to my 180D and I want to do the same thing here to this 170D and that's to change out the glow plugs. The original glow plugs are an old loop style series glow plug and I want to install the upgrade fast pencil or parallel glow plugs in these engines. Now it's not as simple as it may appear and many people have reported problems with installing these newer style glow plugs and having them burn out. They just don't seem to be lasting very long. So recently, I set out to find a solution for that problem. And in this video, I will go over some of the things I have done that will allow you, particularly if you have the old OM636 engine, to install these modern glow plugs in your engine. And this will allow you to start the engine much more quickly. Let's go ahead and move outside now, and I'll show you what I've done with my 180D. This is my 1959 180D. It's a very nice example of original car and it only has 73,000 original miles on it. And I recently completed the fast glow upgrade on this engine. And I'm just amazed and really pleased at how quickly the engine starts. Before, I would have to get into the car, turn the lever and hold it for more than a minute before the glow plugs would even get hot enough to start the engine. Now I can jump in the car, turn the level, lever to the pre glow position, and in five to six seconds, this engine is ready to start. Let me open the hood now and I'll show you what I've done to modify the pre glow system. This car uses a ballast resistor to lower the voltage to the glow plugs. Those original series glow plugs operate on a very, very low voltage. So the voltage had to be dropped from 12 volts down to an acceptable level or it would burn out those glow plugs. When I installed the new fast glow plugs in this engine, I didn't want real low voltage. I wanted 12 volts. But there's a little bit of a problem there because these particular glow plugs are only rated at 9.5 volts. Now granted, if you're using the old original start system in this car, and you're running it through that wire indicator light on the dash, a lot of times you'll get a couple volts of voltage drop to the glow plugs. And you'll find that you'll be operating in the 9.5 to 10 volt range. And this particular car, you know, did fine for a while. I mean, I would, I would use my meter here, uh, have someone set it to the pre glow position, and I would end up, you know, 10 volts. But after about two weeks, the indicator light burned out. Now I've got a different voltage to the plugs. So now I begin to understand what people are talking about on the internet when they're saying, oh man, I've been having problems. I've been burning out plugs. I'm not happy with, with the whole situation. So what I did is I went to work. I went to work to find out how to solve this problem for people who want to put these newer plugs in their OM636 diesel engines. So let me take you back into the shop here. I'm going to show you what I've rigged up to do some testing and show you what I found is a good solution to this problem. 
To show you how these pencil glow play, just keep rolling. To show you how these upgrade glow plugs work in an OM636 engine, I decided I was going to have to set up some sort of a test bench. So welcome to my diesel pre-glow test bench. Now granted, this is not an OM636 cylinder head. It's a head off an old 240D, but it's going to serve the purpose for showing you how these glow plugs work. What I've done is I've installed the four pencil glow plugs and wired them in parallel as you see here. Notice there is no ground connection. You have to be really careful when you install, install these. If you try to ground this last glow plug, you're going to burn up your wiring and probably burn up some glow plugs as well. I've also uh, got a 12 volt battery here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply 12 volts directly from the battery to the lead wire coming in to number one glow plug. Notice here I've also attached my trusty voltmeter so you'll be able to see exactly how many volts are being delivered to the glow plugs. So here we go. And also uh, watch how quickly these glow plug tips heat up and watch the intensity with which they heat. Here we go, glowing now. You see the voltage? It's jumped right up to 11 and a half volts. And the glow plugs, notice how they're heating and they're getting very, very hot. Notice how hot those glow plugs were getting and how quickly they were heating up. That's because they were operating at 11.5 volts. And these glow plugs are only rated for 9.5 volts. So you're probably not gonna have a lot of problem if you're very careful on your pre-glow pre cycle. And if you limit it to five to 10 seconds and then start the engine, um, you probably will be okay. If you're running through the resistor dash light indicator, that will also drop the voltage some too. And if you're careful, that will provide a little bit of voltage drop so you're not getting the full 11 half volts to those plugs. But, you know, I wanted to provide you with something that would provide secure safety, even if you glowed the plugs for a minute and particularly if you have an old engine maybe weak compression maybe it's really cold outside it's really nice to set up a system that you can pre-glow and then keep the glow plugs burning even after the engine starts this helps to ignite that cold fuel and it reduces smoke and you'll find if you can do that the engine will run a lot smoother at startup in fact some of the modern glow plugs that are available uh, from Mercedes have a cycle that stays on even after the engine starts. And you can only do this now with these glow plugs if you drop that voltage back down to 9.5 volts. Then you can sit there and run power to them for a minute to a minute and a half. So what I've done is I have set out to develop a ballast resistor. It's, it, right now I'm, I'm having to custom make the internals on this to get the voltage to drop right to 9.5 volts. And when I hook this up and apply power, 9.5 volts is what I'm getting to those glow plugs. The cycle's a little slower. Instead of 10 seconds, it takes 15 to 20 seconds to heat the glow plug tips, but it is providing that extra safety and will uh, allow these glow plugs to last a lot longer. The other thing I'm doing is I'm coming up with a add-on kit that will allow you to use a push button. You can mount this push button on your dash, run it through a separate relay that will activate your pre-go cycle in your old OM636. You'll just bypass the switch, the factory switch, and you'll be able to control this manually with a button. Once again, the button will allow you to keep glowing those plugs even after the engine starts up. So I'm, I'm trying to wrap this up. I'm trying to come up with a kit. You will be able to buy the set of plugs and wires from us for the OM636. And if you want, I will offer the ballast res resistor separately. And then as an upgrade, you can buy the override kit, which will give you the, the relay and the button and the instructions to stall, install your own system so you can control it from a button on your dash. So if you're interested in doing this for your old OM636 four banger, be sure and check it out on my website. I decided to bring in my assistant here so that she could help explain this better than I can. Sometimes I get really confused. Kiana, can you explain what these are right here? 
Uh, those are glow plug wires. Glow plug wires. Yes. And what's, what's that right there? Uh, that's a glow plug. That's a glow plug. So you see, it's not difficult to troubleshoot your own pre-glow system. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you may be wondering, uh, well, who was that person really? Well, that is Kiana Bergsma, my daughter-in-law. And yes, she is my assistant, but she doesn't help me on cars. She is the one that has done all the video editing on all the videos that I have on YouTube. And that's over two years of work. So I want you, if you ever get the chance, to thank her because she's a large part of making all this happen.